red lines. Ali, how come? Yeah, what? That's the Sharia of Muhammad Rasulullah. Ask him. They said because Al Islam came in, in obviously, and Nabi Adam announced his message in Mecca, stayed in Mecca 13 years, then went on to live in Medina for 10 years, Sahih, 23 years. In Mecca, there was only Salah. The Ahkam came where? In Medina, Halal, Haram, Zakah, etc., all were revealed in Medina. When An Nabi Al Mustafa وسلم, returned back at the year of 10th of Hijrah to do his pilgrimage, Hajjatul Wada, right? The last pilgrimage. Then the ayah was revealed, Al Yawma Akmaltu Lakum Dinakum. Yani now you had salah. Buni al Islam wa ala khams hadith al Bukhari, you all know it, right? Al Islam was founded in five pillars. Shahadat al Laila Allah, Iqamat al Salah, Itazaka, Som Ramadan. The only thing that was missing was what? Hajj. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he came and performed Hajj with the Sahaba, all of them, Al Yawma Akbal to Lakum Deen. Deen is complete, it's over. Huh? Well, there is Qawl al Imam al Razi mentions it, who had Suyuti, Fiddur al Manthur, and others. He said that Al Yawma Akmal to Lakum Deenakum came when, in fact, not at the Hajjat al Wada itself in Mecca, but when Al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam moved from Mecca back towards Medina. And he stopped at the well where he declared man, the hadith fi sahih al imam Muslim, hadith Zayd bin Arqam, of his sahih imam Muslim sahih, and also the hadith is narrated by Tabarani with an isnat sahih, and also narrated by Tirmidhi with, his, with an isnat sahih, and, it, and many others. Man kuntu mawla, he says, fa'aliyon mawla, Allahumma wali man wala, wa'adi man ada. Though Imam Sudi says it has a weak isnad. The point is that the finality was by the pilgrimage was after the final pilgrimage of the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sallam. And this Al-Yawma Akmaltu Lakum Deenakum and I perfected Wa Atmamtu Alaykum Ni'mati. The perfection of the Ni'mah of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Wa Raditu Lakum Al-Islam Adina. That day of the completion of the deen i don't want people to think that the deen before that was not complete no 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 the deen was always complete huh? yeah and you just the people the sahaba radiallahu anhum ajma'in who died in badr or uhud did not die on an incomplete deen no 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 it's just like when you are traveling huh? when you travel safar you do qasr of salah صحيح? just because the salah is shorter doesn't make the salah is bad huh? la salah is perfected no problem with the salah like when you are in Safar, it's a different circumstance. Al-Yawma Akmal to Lakum Ad-Din is always complete. Like in the revelation is now complete. Wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati. The Muslims ought to stand in celebration. Actually, I believe that this day is the milad of every Muslim. Why is it our birth? Everyone's birth is this, this day of the ikmal of the deen. Why? Because number one, the, by the perfection, by the completion of this deen, we know there is no prophet after Rasulullah But not only that, by the completion of this deen, we know who our Allah is. A deen came to teach us about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And people who don't have, who don't know Allah are lost. They don't know where they are. Therefore, they go on the dunya right and left. And they are in difficulties and hardship looking for answers. And therefore, one of the awliya says, He who finds you has lost nothing. And he who lost you, huh? or he, 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 he who lost you has lost everything. He who finds you, Allah, has lost nothing. But he who did not find you has lost everything, even if he gains everything. Huh? So this way that we know who our Lord is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The other thing, once you know your Lord, why is it your birth? Because you don't really exist if you don't know who your Lord is. 
you might be walking and talking and working and sleeping. Lakin if you don't know Allah, you don't know anything. You don't know where you're going. Huh? He who walks right and left and falls and all this, is he equal or the one who walks on a straight path? Huh? They're not equal like that. You know Allah, you know your Lord, you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you know your role. What is my role? You know where you stand. The framework within which you stand with your relationship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, within your relationship with respect to your relationship with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, and with your relationship with yourself and your society and your community and the country that you live in and the world as a whole, that you have a positive role, a positive contribution that you must give and contribute without awaiting recognition or reward except from Allah. You realize that by the completion of our deen. What did this completion of, of the deen brought to us? It brought to us, it trans, to give us the transition from slavery to freedom. What does that mean? The slavery of da'irat al-hiss al-insani, yani the circle of the human tangible thinking, to the freedom of a tawfiq al-rabbani, of the open freedom that Allah gives the people. So now people don't worship a, well, what they call God, who has limbs, who has organs, who sits in a place, or who resides in a direction, or who has a, 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 a place or space. He is the creator of spaces and places. He existed when nothing else existed, and without needing a place to exist, so shall he always exist as he will, subhanahu wa ta'ala, without needing anything to exist. For he is not in need of anything, yet everything is in need of him for everything. We worship Allah, we don't worship the creation. The second thing, it moves us to understand who Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is. Because this deen was completed by who? by the sending of al-Mustafa al-A'zam sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Who is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? And obviously we cannot understand his rank with Allah ta'ala. وَكَيْفَ يُدْرِكُ فِي الدُّنْيَا حَقِيقَتَهُ قَوْمٌ نِيَامٌ تَسَلُّوا عَنْهُ بِالْحُلُمِ How can people who are absent, ghafil, understand the haqiqah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Therefore, no one knows Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam entirely except Allah, his creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lakin we know some of his rank amongst us, some of the things that he told us. The only people that could really taste really the completion, the ni'mah of the completion of the deen were those sahaba kiram radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. You know why? Those who among them who tasted the bitterness of jahiliyyah. The bitterness of the jahiliyyah in Aqidah, where they had to build idols and they forced people to bow to the idols. Where they, the, jahil, the bitterness of the jahiliyyah, where you had no say so in what you believe. You had no say so in questioning anything. Where now the people of religion became sacrosanct, unquestionable, infallible. While we believe in Nabi Adam وسلم, is infallible and everyone after him is questionable. With respect, obviously. But people when they taste it. I'll move to another point also. The people who tasted the, jahil, the social jahiliyyah. What is the social jahiliyyah? The social jahiliyyah of differentiation amongst people. At that time, being powerful or having might equals having right. Hatta some of the Arab poets, they used to say, how come these people are free and they don't commit dhulm against other people? 